Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate for the mean, how to find the median mode, quartile 1, 2, and quartile 3, how to calculate for the interquartile range, also known as IQR. I'm going to show you how to use a calculator to find the standard deviation. And as well as I'm going to show you how to make a box plot and a dot plot. All right, so let's get started. All right, so a couple definitions first, and then we'll get into an example. Mean, it is pretty much a calculated center value of a set of numbers. Uh, the other, another mathematical synonym to mean is average. In order to find this, we're going to add all numbers in our set and then divide by how many total numbers there were in there. Median is the middle number of a sorted list. So we meaning that we're going to take this set and we're going to sort them smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest. And that center middle number is called the median. If there are two centers or no center, depending on how your perspective looking at it, then you're going to take the mean or average of the two closest to the invisible middle or the two middle numbers to calculate the median. The mode is the number that appears the most often in this set. So uh, think about it as the most popular number in this set. There can be more than one mode that is possible. Also, it is possible for no mode to exist if no number repeats itself in the same set. A dot plot is a graphical representation of the data that we are gonna that we have using dots and a number line. Um, again, it's gonna be very easy once you kind of see it, and I go through what a dot plot is and what it looks like. A quartile are three values to divide a number set into quarters, right? So think about them as dividers. There are three dividers, three values or three dividers that divide a number set into quarters. So it's creating four different equal sets are three dividers, Q1, Q2, and Q3 are these quartiles. The interquartile range, also known as the IQR, it is pretty much the distance from Q1 to Q3. A box plot, also known as box and whiskers, is a diagram that ha that depicts the three quartiles in a box with, it, with lines extending to the mean, minimum and the maximum values. These two lines that extend from the box to the minimum and the box to the maximum are known as the whiskers. It is possible that these two lines may or may not exist. Okay. Um, they may exist uh, or may not because of their uh, how the data we have uh, being represented. All right. So let's get started with an example. Our first example, we are asked to find the mean, median, mode, Q1, the first quartile, Q2, the second, Q3 is the third quartile, the interquartile range, and we're also going to create a dot plot and a box plot for this following data. Right, so this data tells us the age of uh, people that when they got their first job. So 18, 22, 15, 13, 20, 16, 17, 16, 22, 15, 13, 17, 13, 13, 18, 18, and 16. For us to start finding the mean, we need to add all these numbers right here. All right. So when we add all the numbers, our mean is equal to some type of division. All right. We're going to add 18 plus 22 plus 15 plus 13 plus 20 plus 16 plus 17 in all these numbers. When we add all those numbers, we get 282. 
we're going to divide 282 by a certain number. That number is how many numbers were used to get 282. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Another 7 is 14, 15, 16, 17 total numbers. 282 divided by 17 equals 16.58. All right. If you're not asked to find, I'm sorry, if you're not asked to round, then this would be it right here. All right. So this is to find the mean. Now we have to find the median. And in order for us to do that, we need to place this data in order from smallest to highest or highest to lowest. I'm sorry, blanked it on that one. All right, so uh, this data is going to be 13, 13, 13, another fourth time, 15 up here twice, 16 up here three times, 17 happened twice, 18 happened three times, one, two, three, 20 appeared once, and 22 appeared two times. All right, so uh, from here, all right, I am uh, I'm going to use a different color. Now we kind of see what I'm uh, doing to finding the median. All right, so to find the median here, I am going to start canceling from both ends till I get to somewhere down the middle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And this is the end. One, two, three. I'm again using these so that way I can uh, different marks to kind of see which one canceled with which on opposite ends. Here's these uh, 16 ends at 17. The 16 with the 17 cancels out. So that means that there is one middle number here, and that is 16, so that is my median. It is the center part of my data. All right, uh, to find the mode, you can go through this, or you can actually use the dot plot. I'm gonna use the dot plot because it's gonna make it much easier to see um, which one appeared the most. So I'm gonna start off by numbering my number line. No, not 20. I make, need to make sure that increases in the same uh, order. Speed 21, 22, and 23. I'm not gonna go any higher than that because 22 is the highest here. All right, how many 13s are there? There are four. Fifteen, there are two of them. There are three 16s. Two 17s. Three 18s. One 20 and two 22. All right, from here you can see which one appeared the most, right? Which is the highest in this case. It is 13. All right, so from here, we need to calculate our quartiles. Okay, so we're going to end up using this data right here. All right, so we're going to do that in our next slide. All right, so to find the quartiles, I'm gonna be using this same order of data. All right, so let's get started in finding those. So here's my data. All right, I'm gonna go back. It was the third 16 that was our median. All right, so this number is not gonna be used to find the median of the left data or the small data and the median of the bigger data or the right data. 
So what happens is this here is now your second quartile. Quartile, again, it's just a median for your datas. Your first quartile is the median of the small data. Quartile 3 is the median of the higher half of the data. All right, so in order to find that, again, I'm going to be 1, 2, crossing out 1, 2 from the end. 1, 1, and it looks like if I cross these out, I'm not going to have anything here. So that means I need to add these two numbers and then divide by 2 meaning I am taking the average or the mean of these two numbers. 13 plus 15 is 28. Divide that by 2, and that's 14. If uh, you're able to see the middle part between 13 and 15, right? this here verifies that it is 14 here. So this 14 is now our first quartile. Over here, we need to do the same thing, very similar, I should say. Here's the first, here's the first, second, second, third number crossed out, third number crossed out. What number is between 18 and 18? There is no number in between, so that means that 18 is going to be a third quartile. And then here's the math to prove that 18 is going to be our third quartile. 18 plus 18, and then divide that by 2. That equals to 36 divided by 2, which is 18. And that there is our third quartile. Right now, all we have to do is find the interquartile range. In order for us to do, all we got to do is take third quartile, subtract it to the first. That is 18 minus 14. So the interquartile range is equal to four units. Last but not least, all we need to do is make the box plot or the box and whiskers. We need Q1, Q2, Q3. Let me highlight those of what we need. We need Q3, Q2, and Q1, and as well as the maximum, I'm sorry, this is the minimum, and we also need The maximum. We already got the minimum Q1, Q2, and Q3, and the maximum. Now it's time to make our box and whiskers plot or a box plot. We need the same increments. So you hear that 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. I'm not going any more past 23 because 22 is our maximum. All right, so we need to make a box between Q1 and Q3. Here's my rectangle. All right. Q1 starts at 14, so here's 14, and it ends at 18, here's 18. All right, there's that. We also need to put in a uh, at 16 for Q2. Here's 16. If I can draw a straight line, this is a straight line. All right, and then our whiskers goes from 13 all the way to Q1. So here is 13 all the way there. And then all the way ends at 22, which is right here. And then a line again. And that there is our box and whiskers. All right, that's how we do it. And I'm just going to end up showing you how this is done um, more with straight lines. Straight lines, right? Straight line at 22 and then at 13. Here to there and here to there. I'm going to show you how to use a TI 30X2S to find the standard deviation. All right, let's get started. Right now, the only thing that you should see is either degrees, radians, or gradients. We're not gonna care about that. Since we're doing stats, let's turn on the stat mode by pressing second and data. 
second data, one variable is what we're going to select, stats appears. All right, I pressed the button before, I just cleared it, All right, that had nothing to do. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna input data by pressing data. Here it's telling me what is the first number, All right, the first number in our data was 18. FRQ means frequency, all right, I'm gonna use the data that was given to us in the example, so I'm gonna put everything as in ones, all right? Here's the third one, 15, one time. 13 is the next one. 20 is the following one. 16, 17, 16, 22, 15, 13, 17, 13, 13 the second time, 18, 18, and 16. Make sure you go down there to that. All right, one way to know, right? This is the second, I'm sorry, this is the last one. We have a total of 17 numbers in our data. All right, uh, how do we know that? Because when we calculated for the mean, right, the 17 is telling us there are 17 numbers in that data. All right, so this is one way for us to know that we got in, uh, input this correctly. Next thing you want to do is actually press stat var, not that one. Let me change back that to 16. It happens once. Stat var. This is that it calculates again. N here is 17. How many numbers we put into that? Uh, uh, how many numbers we put into that data? That means uh, actually that is the mean at 16.588. And then this is the standard deviation we are going to pay attention to this year, 2.8087. I just cut off the other ones. I'm gonna cut off the other side. Now that we saw the steps on how to do that, right? Last but not least, even though it was not asked in the Directions, right, the standard deviation that we're looking at is going to be 2.8087, right? This is not how it's written. Usually uh, it is written as that there if we are rounding to the nearest tenth. All right, example two again, we're trying to find the mean, median mode, first, second, and third quartile, the interquartile range. We're also gonna create a dot plot and a box plot for this data. All right, this data measures the height of men in inches. So the, for the first thing we want to do is to find the mean. To find the mean, we're gonna add all these numbers up. So the mean, is going to equal to once we add all these numbers we are going to get 1145 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 14 15 16 total numbers we're going to divide that by 16 and we are going to get that that is equal to 71 point five six to five. Next, we are going to find the mean, not the mean, the median, meaning the very center part of this data. So in order to do that, we need to put in all these numbers from least to highest. All right, let's get started with that. We have 68, a total of three times. 69, a total of three times. 70 is happening twice. 71, only one time. 72, one time. There is no 73. 74 happens two times. 75 happens two times. 76 happens once. And 77 happens once as well. Again, we're going to start crossing out since I have two here. 
across up to here. It looks like I can go by threes. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. All right, so if I cross these out, we have this right here. All right, so in order to actually, for me to find my median, right, it is the number in between 70 and 71, right? Uh, so if mathematically, take those two numbers and then divide by two, and that's going to give us 70.5, right? Uh, before I find the mode, what I am going to do is I'm going to dot plot these points. That way I can see which one is the highest, meaning uh, what happens the most, and that will be my mode. 68 happened three times. 69 happened three times as well. 70 happens twice. All right, 68, I forgot to number these increments. 76, this is 78, and I'm not going to go any higher than 78, 77 is the highest, 70 happens twice, 71 once, 72 happened one time, there's no 73, 74 happened two times, 75 happened two times, 76 once, and 77 once. All right, uh, which one has the most X's? 68 and 69, so that means that we have two modes, 68 and 69. Right, next thing we need to find is our Q1, Q2, and Q3. All right, uh, the great thing about this is that the median is already your Q2. All right, so Q2 is equal to 70.5, right? That is right here. So that means that this is going to be, I'm going to use these numbers for finding my Q1 and all these numbers over here for finding my Q3. So again, cross out from the end, one, second, first, second, third. All right, so I need to find the number between 69 and 69, all right? There is no number between 69, so Q1 equals 69. All right, very similar over here. One, twice, first, second in the end, third from the end, third from the end, right? Number between 74 and 75, that is very similar how we found this, which is 74 and nine. Right, I'm gonna start with my box plot. Height, lowest number is 68. Let's see if I go by halves. I have enough. Let's go around. And I do. All right, 60 is the lowest, 77 is my max. So those are the numbers that I need. All right, 68 is the minimum, 77 is the maximum, and then here are our three other not important numbers. So 68 starts here, 77 it ends here, 69 is where a box begins, so, uh, at 70.5 or Q2 this is where I, uh, the middle representation of the box and then 74.5 which is over here is the ending part of our box plot. Here is a box plot. Here's another two whiskers. All right, so this is the data, the shortcut for example number two. All right, uh, because I have stats, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear the data. By doing that, I'm gonna press second, exit stats, and yes, I'm gonna confirm. No more stats, so that means my data has been cleared. Now I'm going to press second, stat, one variable data. Now I'm going to press data, see nothing else appeared anymore. I am going to, again, take the shortcut. So this is after I've already created my 
dot plots. That way I know how many numbers appear. All right, so let's get started with that. 68 is the first one. That happens three times. 69 happens three times. 70 happens two times. 71 happens once. 72 happens once. 74 happens two times. 75 happens two times. 76 once. And 77 once. All right, I just went back to check if that was the previous one, right? 77 happens once. Again, I'm press stat var. There were 16 numbers in that data, which is correct. All right, when I calculate the mean, I divide it by 16. Here is the mean, 71.5625. And then here is the standard deviation that we are looking for for these particular examples, 3.04. Zero 07. I'm going to cut off the rest. I just showed you how to use your calculator again, demonstrate it with the calculator, and how to find our standard deviation. Again, and that is going to equal to 3.0407.